In free-to-play games, it's important to keep the gameplay between free-to-play and pay-to-play as close as possible. In Team Fortress 2's case, this can be true except for just one thing. I mean, there are no classes locked behind a paywall, there is no map that cannot be accessed, but what we do have is an unfair inventory system. Taking away all reskin and stock items, you'll find that there are still over 100 unique weapons anyways. Why not give a definitive number? Because some people may not consider certain weapons to be unique entities, like the Holy Mackerel and the original, given that they technically don't have different stats, but are different weapons. I counted weapons that have different mechanics to them, even if they don't have different stats, which brings the number to 131, but I'm going to use 100 as a form of general understanding, as 100 is an important number to many people, and easier to grasp from a psychological standpoint. Okay? Okay. So, using 100 as our base point, guess who only has 50 backpack slots? Free-to-plays. That puts them at an active disadvantage, which I am not okay with and I hope you are not either. Most free-to-play will keep the cosmetics they are given freely, those being the Gibbous, the Goggles, and the Mercenary Badge. That's three less weapons. Anything else they get on top of that is a bonus, like free hats and paints from Smithsmiths or Halloween, but even so, let's be generous here in our example, and let's say that they have all 50 item slots available at any given time. They don't do crafting, they don't care about hats, they're totally content with just wanting weapons. They are still going to be missing out on those 50 weapons. Okay, Cosmo, but there's a lot of outclassed weapons out there. What about those? Alright, you know what? That, that's fine. That's a fair point. Let's reduce the amount by excluding the following weapons that I think we can agree are universally okay to skip out on if necessary. I'm not going to say that they are exclusively bad weapons, that they're just not the necessities. These are weapons from the pre-Pyro update, so if this list becomes outdated when that update releases, I'm sorry, but that's how it's gonna be. The following weapons are... Pretty Boy's Pocket Pistol, The Winger, Rap Assassin, Holy Mackerel, Liberty Launcher, Original, Man Treads, Bison, Base Jumper, Pain Train, Man Melter, Panic Attack, Third Degree, Alibaba's Wee Booties, Ula Pool Caber, Cloud and More, Brass Beast, Duo Long Heater, Daloka's Bar, Buffalo Steak Sandwich, Warrior Spirit, Eviction Notice, Pompson 6000, Southern Hospitality, Overdose, Solemn Vow, Classic, Cleaner's Carbine, Cozy Camper, The Shahashahenyaheshebaba, and The Enforcer. Alright. That's 31 weapons removed from our already reduced list. Even if we put it at a generous 100 unique weapons, that's still 69 goddammit weapons, which means 19 of those, which again, isn't accurate because there's a lot more than that, cannot be used. And this is not including the player keeping certain cosmetics or tools, or having the room for metal, so the closer number would be anywhere from 20 to 30 weapons at any given time that they cannot use because they have no inventory. Okay, so now that the preface is aside, how do I suggest that we fix the issue? An arsenal. Basically, why do we not have a system that once a player has found or earned a specific weapon, they have access to that weapon permanently? Like, let's say a free-to-play finds an airstrike. Well, they'd lose, quote-unquote, that airstrike to their arsenal, but on the flip side, now they have access to an airstrike. Forever. That's it. And once they find a second airstrike, that is the one that goes into their inventory. Suddenly, free-to-play inventory space is a non-issue. Suddenly, free-to-plays have the same gameplay equality as pay-to-plays do, without sacrificing anything that the pay-to-plays can already do. Free-to-plays still cannot trade their drops, and they cannot fabricate hats with metal or use any of the rare or special blueprints. Anything they own is still rendered null to the Team Fortress 2 economy because any drops that they have aren't usable outside of crafting another weapon inside of the game anyways. And in addition, it encourages newer players to return to the game and attempt to complete the arsenal. And once they have all the weapons, they'll be encouraged to play more and try those new weapons rather than tossing them away for weapons that they already prefer. And generous players can trade those items to free-to-play to complete their arsenal early on. It's like... Why is this not already here? I know the arsenal idea is not a new idea, and it's likely been suggested many times before, but if that's true, then why is it not already a thing? Okay, so even if you want to make an 
argument that one of the advantages of being a pay-to-play is having all of the space available to use all of those weapons that still gives Team Fortress 2 the slightest pay-to-win advantage, which goes against the game's basic principle that it's had for a long time. Anybody can become Team Fortress 2 without paying a dime to it. And to do that, you do need all the essential weapons. You can disallow promotional and reskin items from the arsenal if you wish. If anything, that'll give players even further incentive to keep going because those can be crafted by players of all kinds. Those recipes already exist in the game. Imagine exploring the menu and that you see that some weapons you still didn't own yet exist. It helps them set their own goals and to keep going. And some items, like the flying guillotine for Scout, are promotional items. Yeah, the flying guillotine, one of the best combo items in the game. Anybody remember that? It is a pre-order bonus for anyone who got Sleeping Dogs back in the August of 2012. That's a long dang time. That is almost five years from the release of this video. It baffles me that we still have a system that only, it only slightly favors pay to play more. And I get that you want people to spend money on the game, but wouldn't people be more incentivized to pay money to this game if they had everything available? Now, okay, let's take that back a step. Wouldn't people be more incentivized to play this game if they had access to all of the weapons and once they got good with all of those weapons, they'd be like, you know what, now I want to support this game more. I want to get the cosmetics. I really want to make my character feel unique. Having to pay even a very slight fee for the ability to use all of the weapons just at any given time is kind of a crap move. That's, that's really just not a fun thing to have for players. I don't want any free-to-plays to have to go through that experience for any longer. And let's not forget to mention that although this will not do much to remove items from the economy, this will remove a lot of weapons from the economy. Because the moment that this update would go live, all of those unique weapons that are sitting in people's inventories would automatically go to that arsenal and it would be filled up. And even if you don't have those unique weapons, there's going to be a lot of those weapons just disappearing anyways, like hundreds of thousands of weapons just boom, they disappear, they go to the arsenal, you no longer have to worry about it, it's done, it's, it's there, it's the bad. I, I hope you understand how much I want to stress the point that this would be only a positive move for Team Fortress 2. I, I can see no downsides to this move. I understand that it might be technically hard to make a system happen like this because, you know, just based on the way that the game is already set up, I understand that it could be kind of a technical challenge, but I do think it is a challenge that we should make happen in Team Fortress 2. Then again, I am only one person on the internet with only one opinion on the matter, so if you have any comments or criticism about this idea, please let me know in the comments below, and of course, thank you all so much for watching, and please stay tuned because more will be coming your way. Bye-bye.